Hi, my name is Stan from Over the Hill Adventures. And we're about six days away from leaving for our back east trip. And while I was doing an inspection, we found a major brake fail. And we'll be right back. Well, welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. And you have to ask yourself, when was the last time you did an inspection on your trailer? And what I mean by that is, do you go physically underneath the trailer and do you check your trailer? Do you check for cracks? Do you check for things that are not right? Well, I did that today and I discovered a major brake fail. And what I mean by that, we have electric brakes on our 2021 uh, Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. When I did my inspection underneath the frame, I discovered that there were two wires that were severed. And I know they've been severed for a long, long time. I can tell that. But um, it could have been a piece of debris on a road or, or something like that. Um, who knows, we could have uh, ran over a rock, piece of wood on the freeway and um, cut, cut those wires. And unbeknownst to me, uh, we were probably running our trailer with only one set of trailer brakes and that would have been the front set of trailer brakes and not for the back axle. So we're, today we're gonna go through and how we fix that problem. All right, so these are tools I'm gonna use. A wire stripper. I don't have my crimpers to crimp these and basically these are butt connections with a shrink tube and then my zip ties that I want to zip tie the wire to the axle so let's go see what we have to do so you can understand and the reason for for um, showing you this is basically so you know what to do all right so simple fact these are the things that happen when you're on the road. So you want to do your inspection and check. So basically this wire was here connected to this and this wire was connected to here. As you could see how those are connected over there. And I hope you can see that. Um, you see how it was zip tied to the axle? So somehow, some way, it was zip tied to the axle right here. And for whatever reason, that came off. So we need to get this, get this menagerie. Let's, that's some sort of a metal crimp thing here. I could just cut it, but I want to try to get it out in a, in a whole piece. So this one's got to go here. I've determined. And then what I'm going to do, once I've done this, I get this out. And it, if I can't get it out, I can't get out. But if I can, I'm gonna, because I wanna use as much wire as I can. I feel like it's almost coming out, but I'm not happy with the way that looks. So what we're gonna do, so we're going to go ahead and cut this like that. We're going to cut the old wire here like that. And then what I want to do, since this is the main wire here, I'm going to strip this wire. And so th these little things come like with adjustments, but I kind of have it. I feel when I know it is and strip that wire like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna take one of these two cookies, little butt connectors, and put it in there. In that and so these things once you have them in there you got to crimp them on there
like that. I'm mad at myself because I usually have crimpers and I couldn't find my crimpers, but you just have to deal with it, you know, so it's in there nice and snug. And so now I have to take this wire and this wire, and we have to put these two wires together, and then this one goes like this. And these two will go in there like that, basically. This wire has some interesting properties. It has a, like a um, coating that's around the wire, which is kind of surprising to me. I haven't seen that before, which is good. In some cases, you just gotta be real careful with it. You gotta get that coating off there so we have good contact. The reason why I'm being careful is because I don't want to break the wire off and make it shorter again. All right. I think we have enough there. Let's twist that around. So, um, I'm feeling that this is a good connect right here now. And so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put that, you guys see that hole right there? And we're gonna put that in there just like that. And I think I'm happy with that. Crimp those things in there. <clears throat> Test it, and it's really super strong. So I'm very confident with that. Um, there you go, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a lighter, and I'm gonna shrink these on there. See how they shrink onto the wire? I'm gonna hold this like this a little bit. And I am extremely happy with the way that turned out. Tug on it, make sure it's nice and strong. Now, for me, as a little bit added protection, which I'm always usually overkill, I'm going to put some black electrical tape. So funny, because Rhonda said, make sure you get this on video. And, you know, I don't like doing stuff like this, you know, because I think, well, would somebody be really interested in seeing this? So if you feel that this is helping you, um, write down in the comments. Um, this is just something with, that was totally unexpected. It's probably just a 15 minute job. So the next is we're gonna attach this to this. I, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. You guys think that's a, I think that's a good looking job right there, I think. I'll make sure we have enough room here. Um, like I said, there's absolutely no reason on why this occurred. Um, but it's definitely, I was actually really surprised to see that it, that it happened, but so important to get it fixed because I remember on our trip when I had to hit the brakes a few times that the my brakes were skidding and I wonder if it was because only one of the uh, uh, electric brakes on one of the axles were working and the rear axles wasn't working. So, crimp that real good like that. <clears throat> You see that? I didn't crimp it good enough. Put that back in there. Make sure you crimp it good. It's got to have a good crimp on it. And always test it. 
God, always tested. Oh, nope. Well, look. It's obvious I messed up on that one, so luckily I have an extra one. So I am not going to take a chance. And I am going to put a new one on. And I am going to crimp this one good. Okay, I feel like I'm happy with that. So that's done. So now, clean this wire. Clean. Clean this wire. This is the one that has that weird coating on it, so. I actually like it. I think it's probably so it doesn't corrode. There, I like that. All right. Connected, spliced, put it in there like that. I think it looks happy. <clears throat> Crimp the heck out of it. It's gotta be done right. That is a great, that is good. So, I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna do the same with this one. Feel that one, love it. And this is what shrinks the wires together. And guess what I'm gonna do now? More electrical tape. Cause I wanna give it that extra support. So do you guys think that's a clean job? Let me know in the comments. Of course, you gotta give enough room for this to move within the confines of the of the suspension, um, which I don't think is gonna move that much. But anyway, let's get a zip tie on there. I'm feeling like I wanna almost double zip tie it, to be honest with you. And I found this by just doing a simple inspection. I want to make sure it has enough for travel. And I'm putting it behind the axle in case a rock hits it. Not that it won't turn around, do some funky turnaround, but and has enough loose, enough play, but it keeps it nice in there. But I'm gonna put another one on. Now, if you would have gone into a dealer to get this fixed, what do you, how long do you think you're gonna be without your trailer? Just saying. Is this something that you would take to the dealer to have done, or would you do it yourself? Well, I hope this helps. And if you like this content and you like what we just did here, um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to test the brake. So I'm going to back up my truck, connect the uh, electrical brakes. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to um, spin this tire and then hit the brakes, get Ron to hit the brakes and make sure that it stops.
Okay, so got the jack underneath it. Remember that you got to have your block, your, all your blocks, um, your tires blocked, so your trailer's not going to go anywhere. And as you can, as you can tell, let me see what's going on here. So as you can tell, the wheel's spinning, and so I'm in a minute. I'm going to have Rhonda press the brakes, but I want to make sure that you see that the wheel's spinning, and then I'll have Rhonda press the brakes now. Boom. Brakes are working. That is great, great news. So where the brakes weren't working, they're working now.